Microphones and Monsters is a Creative Typo production. A big thank you goes out to Patrick T. Arsenault and Mead, our executive producer-level supporters from Patreon. Imagine a place where ancient secrets and unnatural horrors lie dormant. A place where the veil between worlds is thin and the creatures of the night roam free. On Microphones and Monsters, a ragtag crew of travelers set sail for one such destination. But beware, dear listener, for the horrors of Fazin are not for the faint of heart. It seems that they are in some dire way where they are whispering what seems to be just mad ramblings. And I think that this voyage has shaken them far more than we could have imagined. Captain, th- these stones are not mere gems. Th- these stones are, are something vile. They they are they are used for, for eldritch energies to, to pass through, to, to be able to power. I I couldn't even begin to imagine what. I, I do not know what these priests are doing with them on these islands, but I, I cannot imagine that it is any good. Let's start back with Izzy and Zerothin. So you gather up the the plants, the 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 food. Uh, you collect some water. Uh, you did find fresh water while you were out there. And uh, Zerothin, are you helping gather the the fruit and veggies? Would you? <laughs> We gotta I think I would, him at least. anybody. I think, I, I think I would do it more for like the fact that just I couldn't find anything else and just need to eat to survive. Yeah, well, need to eat to survive under the pretense that I shouldn't eat anyone. Yeah, at okay. the moment, that's a, that's a good reason. <laughs> I get to see him tearing into a papaya, <laughs> staring at one of the other crew members. <laughs> <laughs> this could be you. <laughs> well, as you, as you are making your way back through the jungle with your hall, uh, you actually both notice that there is, uh, it looks like giant boar tracks. Yummy. Where are the, where are the tracks leading? Like are leading towards our encampment or just, yeah, for just further no, in, the in, the, in the jungle. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's not really going deeper. Like, as you're walking back, you notice it going off to your right. How many? It looks like just one. So, one set of horse tracks. Okay. They look pretty fresh. Do we have uh, uh, Do we have enough food from what we've gathered to basically feed everyone? Or is it going to be like a situation where people are going to be like fighting over it? Uh, you think you have enough food uh, okay. to feed everyone. Now y'all could discuss it too. So I'll just kind of uh, are we? So are we still picking? Or are we like walking back after we like gather back. everything? You've, you've collected everything. So uh, I'll, that... I'll, I would I would hold up uh, a hand paw. I don't know what I have. I think it's a hand. It could be a paw. It's, I don't know hand. what I have. It's, it's a hand. <laughs> I, it's, he's, it's a, he's a lion. <laughs> he's a lion man. Is, is Do this you one have of those hoops situation? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my hoop. Think, uh, now you know how it feels. <laughs> like a weird made up creature. Yeah, you have you have hands, you have you have thumbs. Yeah, yeah I don't think I don't have like a, a claw attack, so it'd be hand. So I would raise up a hand and I would stop, you know, Isadath basically walking and just kinda Do you smell that? Smell what? Beast. Smells like boar. Smells pretty big. What do you think? Should we ditch and go after it? Uh, I 
I mean, the captain said not to go further into the, the jungle. I think we have enough. I'll just kind of give the Isadath a look of like, come on, just go with it. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> I need this. I need <laughs> something to kill. I don't want a papaya. I came back empty handed. Come on, give me this. <laughs> I mean, she's she's just gonna stand there with like what I'm assuming is just like a, a bundle of like fruits and veggies and whatever in her arms and just looking at you like uh, I mean but the captain said <sighs> captain said this captain said that boring very well I will follow back to camp Zarathin will reluctantly head back with Izzy with, with right. his four foot tall companion. Yes. <laughs> All right. Baggage. Uh, back to Lucius and Rufus. Uh, you come up on that body. Uh, there was mm. where, there was two bodies. Two of the bodies lie in tide pools, while the third slumps in the sand, well away from the edge of the water. Mm. If you want to take a close closer look, that one. The other two bodies look like normal dead bullet bodies. If like they got caught in the storm, washed up on the beach. The other one looks different because it's oddly stiff compared to the other two. Well, I will take a look at the different oddly stiff corpse. Yeah, because I would have, <laughs> if even if I hadn't noticed it, it was oddly stiff, I would have brought him over to, to get the healing potion out because I know that he heals people. Okay. <laughs> Lucius, this guy over here, he's got a healing potion on him. Oh, uh, a healing potion, you say? That's what it says in the bottle. That could be very handy. I mean, I am able to do quite a bit of healing myself, but should I ever run out, it would be very nice to be able to have some sort of backup. Well, he's not going to use it anymore. He looks pretty dead. <laughs> I suppose that is true. So you, you do find a potion of healing along with two silver pieces. Two silver pieces. We can Money. rub them together. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you wanting to search any further? Yes. Who gets this? Like I don't. I don't know if a like medicine check would be appropriate. Maybe. So so just going through the other pockets. Uh, the body is unlike the sailors uh, that definitely have sailor looking attire. This one is clothed in a simple robe and lacks weapons, equipment, or armor. Um, and tucked into its belt is a pouch uh, containing a pamphlet. Pamphlet? <laughs> and give me a medicine check. Total is 24. There you 24. go. 24. Okay, so the yeah. the body is male, um, and it's either human or, or half-elf. Um, its skin is heavily wrinkled, dried out, and leathery due to its decades of life in the sun and salty air. Mm. You cannot find any obvious wounds or anything to indicate how the humanoid died. And if he drowned, how did he crawl so far from the ocean? Because as you're looking around, there's no tracks or anything. The, the storm must have washed away his tracks, but definitely died recently. Um, and of course, the body is oddly stiff for a corpse so fresh. So are we talking like far enough inland that it seems like it's like outside of like tidal shifts? Yeah. Like, right? like it's not like he like floated up and then the tide receded. Yeah. yeah like it's on like the edge of the up. tree line or something like a couple feet in where it wouldn't. Have yeah. Been to get there. Yeah. Gotcha. Like, like for him to get that far, he would have had to crawl. Hmm. He has a tattoo on his wrist. And he's missing <laughs> an eye. <laughs> We've seen this before. Hmm. Uh, you can inspect the the pamphlet. The pamphlet from the pouch. I, I I definitely want to inspect that pamphlet. Yes. Give me a yak Beachside property. Oh. <laughs> it's a real estate. Total pamphlet. is thirteen. So what you can tell uh, from looking at it and your experience with looking over stuff like this, um, it's a slim pamphlet sized translation of carvings. From ancient Mu. Uh, you you do know that this was originally written written by the wizard Xanthu, 
uh, and it contains a history of the lost continent of Mu and discusses the various great old ones worshipped by the Muvians, including Shubnigurath and Shubnigurath, Gatnahoa, Gatnathoa. Is this like a Anathosa? race of bovine people? Did you say the Mu? Muvian. It's M U. <laughs> Like, him, him, yeah, move. So, so Shubnigarath and what? What did you say? The well, other that's words? my life. No, just... <laughs> <laughs> when you read it, you you gotta talk like this. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> says it's a pamphlet about me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you would know this as the Xanthu tablets. The Xanthu tablets, and and you said it was Shubnigarath, and what was the other? Uh, Gatanathoa. Katana Thoa. Okay. Hey. Hmm. Are you going to keep both of those silver pieces? Uh, oh, um, well, if you really want them, I suppose you can have them. I thank you so much. I'm going to take this two silver. He's like, Mr. Mouse, can you put those in the, in the money? And Mr. Mouse will just run out and, 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 and grab like the two little, little pieces in his little, little mouse arms and then he'll, he'll run back in. Hmm. And, and I have two more silver, because that was fun. Now you know, Rufus. Oh, I I imagine this might be a bit of a long shot, but I don't suppose you've ever heard about a place called Moo. What am I rolling? Just a D twenty? <laughs> <laughs> is it religion? Is it would it, be a hi- it, it would history? be a history. Yeah, history. All right, let's see if I've heard of Moo. I, I rolled 20. I rolled a 19 plus 1 because I have a plus 1 intelligence. What do I know about Moo? About Moo. I don't know. I mean... What you know about Moo? What, what, what you know about Moo? I'm a year old. I pretty much lived in wherever it was that we set out from since I was a kitten. You know, so yeah, I guess it was new docks. Say, yeah, I shouldn't have even had you roll. Like, there's no, there's no way you would have, you would know this. Okay. That, no, no, just yeah. random passerby that just said something <laughs> offhand. <Yeah. laughs> just, yeah. just spouting facts time. about Moo. <laughs> I thought he was just talking about a cow. <laughs> now, I will, I will tell you this: you would have to. You don't understand all of the the runes. Mm-hmm. You would have to translate it some more. But it mentions a ceremony, and it also may contain spells. Spells. Hmm. It may contain spells. Warning. Like some of these runes seem spells. kind of like runes that would be used in magical spells. It's yeah. like a side effect warning on a prescription. Warning may contain spells. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. This product is known to the state of California. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you do know that like this this whatever spells are on it, it's eldritch in nature. And probably not good. It's right. not. It's not, it's not like oh it's man, I'm going to unlock these spells and it's going to be great. I'm going to use yeah. them all over the place. <laughs> it's an LJ yeah. pam- pamphlet. <laughs> yeah. And meanwhile, it spells like summon Shubnigaroth. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that one. <laughs> That's a bad spell to have. So, so other than that, uh, everything else on the beach is is crates, barrels. There is there is some supply crates and and supply barrels that are intact with like supplies. Drink tack. Like thing on the beach is rope. crate and barrel. It's all yeah. grog. <laughs> Nautical things. But I, I you would be able to cr- carry one crate by yourself. Lucius. Rufus okay. can't. Rufus can't carry. No, I can't. Yeah, the, the, you can, can, can hop in the pieces. crate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. If like, you guys no, know no, this, the cat but... was just one one pound too much. Just yeah. <laughs> no, I'm lifting you from the inside. Can... You don't understand. <laughs> Rufus can guide you back so you don't trip over stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> don't step on that rock. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. We'll we'll do that. We'll we'll. Uh, bring a crate back and i'm definitely taking the pamphlet with me mm-hmm. like i think it probably could be of some import even if it's not something that i necessarily want to cast yeah as it, it could shed some light on something later yeah 
everyone. Let's take a quick break for some ads. While we're away, join our Patreon family at patreon.com slash creative typo and unlock a world of ad-free episodes, exclusive content, and even uncut microphones and monster sessions. Together, we can keep the creative spirit alive. And don't miss the spotlight on another amazing creative typo show after this episode. All right. So everybody makes it back to camp. Um, everybody's excited to have food, fresh water. Um, Captain Sensa has has her own spot staked out uh, camp-wise. So does uh, uh, Aiden, Sela. Um, so Nebby the Wycots and the Ogilwas share the, the large lean to that was built up and they've already, uh, put up your shelter as well. Um, for the four of you, uh, y'all were gone. So they, they made that last shelter for y'all. So while everybody's eating, um, everybody's talking, uh, and Aiden brings up, uh, divvying up the crew, uh, to watch for watch duty uh, throughout the night, and the four of you have been assigned to the final watch of the evening. Okay, so okay. early to bed, early to rise, and then we look out for stuff. Yeah. Uh, does that include uh, because Aiden and the captain were watching out for the? I'm assuming they were on the watches where uh, the other watches where they would be able to keep track of her her satchel. Or explorer pack or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. They're both of them are spread throughout the night. Yeah, got with it. The, okay. With the others, and like I would say that Captain Sensa also gives it like a like a just a wink to Lucius whenever Aiden was divvying up the, those watches with with Aiden Sensa and you guys being on <laughs> the last one. It really is the old person schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Go to bed really early, wake up really early. It's also the cat schedule. <laughs> wake up in the middle of the night and run around. <laughs> I mean, that's what our cats do. <laughs> um, do y'all have anything uh, before turning in with each other? Anybody? Sarathin, did you find anything on your hunt? No, I did not find anything on my hunt. Although there was a curious track for a very large boar. Oh, that sounds like a good hunt. Pursuing it, but I didn't want to make sure that any more uh, fish people, I don't know what they were, whatever attacked us in the boat didn't decide to open a few throats in the night. Yeah. We just gotta watch out for everyone. You and me. <laughs> well, why curious, why do you actually care about the rest of these crew? Oh, they're all really nice. Plus they let me work on the boat. And I got to do all the hunting on the boat. I found a lot of bugs and I found a, a, a big ugly rat. You remember I showed you the big ugly rat? Plus you and I helped protect them on the skiff when the, when the big fish bug eye guys came in and I slashed his eye up and then you poked him in the chest and it was really fun what happens when these friends decide they're no longer so friendly what will you do then well, do whatever I have to to protect me and Mr. Mouse that's what I've done all my life so and that's what's really important your and your Mr. Mouse's survival. Well, everyone's got to take care of themselves. If I don't take care of myself, I can't help take care of other people. But again, that is for your own self-interest. You just want to take care of your own. Do you really care for these sailor wretches? Or is it just about satisfying some sort of personal pride in saying that Yes, I helped these people. I am unlike you. I am using these people as a means to an end to achieve my own goals. I just really like them. 
<laughs> I, I, I love how like precisely juxtaposed these two characters are. <laughs> one's big and one's small. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> but we have so much like, in all these common. people are worthless. We just need to use them and throw them away. <laughs> but I like the people. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we both like to hunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I so, mean, it's almost like the angel and devil on somebody's right. shoulders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But they're talking to each other, trying to <laughs> convince each other. Rufus isn't even trying to convince him. Rufus like gets it, but you know, you know, right now Zarathin's on their side, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, uh, if, has everybody else already gone to sleep? Yeah. What's for the night? what's watch order look like? Nevi and the Gilwa siblings are on a watch with Aiden. Uh, the Wycott triplets are on a watch with the captain. And then we all have the, th- the third watch of the night. Isadaf would just want to check on Banda. That's all. Okay. See how he's holding up. Yeah, how do you want to approach that? Is he, like, maybe, like, laying down in one of the lean-tos? Or is he kind of out and about? He's just He's just relaxing by the fire right now. Um, just trying to get ready for his his uh, his shift, actually, uh, of watch, and just just relaxing before everybody like beds down for the night. And uh, he seems to be feeling better than he was in the boat. He's not talking to himself right now. Um, he occasionally like kind of looks over his shoulder, like he hears something. Like every little every little twig snap or, or every little sound is. Got him a little jumpy, but he doesn't seem to be as much on edge as he was. She would go and sit next to him at the fire and just kind of sit there for a second. And then she'll she'll talk to him and say, hey, Banda, how are how are you feeling? Uh, it's it's been a long day for sure. Um, I'm just enjoying this. This food and, and stuff, it, it's, it's definitely helped me feel better. Uh, I'm hoping hoping nothing nothing's in those in those trees over there. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm I'm glad that you're safe. I was really worried. Uh I don't have many friends and I didn't want to lose one. So I'm 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 glad you made it. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad all of us are here. We that was I've had my fair share of rough moments on the sea, but that that's definitely that's definitely one of the worst ones. But that is the worst one. Do you do you know what attacked us? What what were those things? I've only heard stories about them. Just these fish people. Like they say that uh that they're the like the the ancestors of some of the people back in Rasante long connected or, or long disconnected though they're not like what we saw this morning hopefully there's nothing like that in the jungle I'm I'm kind of ready to be further into the trees I, they make me feel at peace I don't yeah. think I like the water definitely use some downtime whenever we get into Farzine for sure get away from the the water Get away from the beach. You know, they say life's a beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you're doing well, Banda. I'm I'm going to go check on everybody else, but I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad you're doing well, too. And uh, yeah, get some rest. You y'all, too. y'all carried the, the brunt work. So we're letting y'all sleep first. <laughs> it's a good thing. Well, we're, I, 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 I'm here to help. I know I, I, I do anything for my friends. So everybody here has been so nice. So I'm definitely happy to help. As you're, as you're getting up, he's, he's startled by a, a splash that was out towards the beach. Like it wasn't anything. It was just like a fish. <laughs> just a wave. <laughs> yeah. It was just a wave. <laughs> Just the ocean doing the ocean. <laughs> These splashes, they, they keep happening every things. every 20 or 30 seconds. What could it be? <laughs> what could it be? 
the water rises up and falls. God damn moon <laughs> gravitational pull. He takes a sip of takes a sip of coffee that was made and he just like shivers. <laughs> it yeah. starts shaking. Poor guy. His, his timbers. <laughs> huh? His timbers. Shiver oh, his timbers. Shivers. <laughs> shivers. <laughs> Right, we have so. to make the, the 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 sailor nautical jokes now before we get too far <laughs> off the beach. <laughs> the opportunity is jokes. quickly going away. <laughs> yeah. So the everybody as as you're you're heading to bed, uh give me a perception check. Oh boy. Hook it. Perception. Wow, that's the lowest I've rolled on that. Total Ooh. thirteen. Twenty one. Uh, eight. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay, so... Wait, this isn't related to smell, is it? No. Okay. Not, no. I just have advantage on perception checks for smell. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think this one... Okay. No smell. Eight, then. That was mine. All right, so Zarathin and Izadath, you actually, uh, as, you're, as you're walking to uh, the four of your shelter, uh, you see Nookie padding off into the jungle. Like booking it, or like just kind of casually walking off. Uh, just just casually walking off. Yeah, the cat doesn't look in a hurry or anything like that. It's just had not. It just walked out of Sense's tent and it's just padding off into the jungle, trying to find a litter box. <laughs> That's what say. It's, it's just, We're on, on a the beach. beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't shit where I you could sleep. Shit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so again, so we're both on watch. We both see this. You're not on watch. What? You're 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 just we walking just, to go. Uh, this is as we're bed. going to bed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As you're going to bed. Is is it after before turn. our watch? Not after our watch. Before B- before we go to before sleep. We even before we go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is, is it after kind of like turn our head towards Rufus? Isn't that your your friend? We is in the nuki. Yeah. Yeah. Now you see Nookie, like pad off into the, the jungle. Yeah, I don't know why he's going over there though. I'm not supposed to go in the jungle alone. It is very dangerous to navigate these jungles in the dark, especially if you're not native to these lands. Oh, cats are good in the dark. Should we tell the captain, or should we go stop him? I. Do not care. Do as you wish. Unless it is something of sport or entertainment, I really don't care. But what if that big boy you were telling me about gets him? I have decided to reconsider. (laughs) (laughs) I've had a change of heart. But I'm not coming back until I have my sport. Uh, It is dark. I have dark vision, so I'm good. (laughs) <laughs> I I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't at least say that it is perhaps not the best idea for us to follow someone into the woods in the middle of the night because whatever might befall them could very well befall us as well. That's what I'm hoping for, actually. I do not like the sea. My warben never got the chance to travel across the waters. There is something unsettling about it. No sure footing, tight confines, no maneuverability. I had almost given up the ship as a derelict venture. These crew members and their voices are grating. The captain is paying, so I will hold my tongue. The old man, strong wind would break his back, but there's magic surrounding him as well. The child, I give her a week before she's swallowed up by some hungry beast. The cat, a street urchin, likes to cower behind others, an opportunist. And again, aren't we all? At least blood was spilled this day. Those fishmen were a pleasant distraction. We're coming ashore now. Most of the crew is twitchy from the storm. 
I think some will not make it to the next couple of days. Some believe, I think, will wish they didn't. I'm waiting for the voice to lead me towards my foe. I am growing ever impatient to see this hunt through. Hey, podcast lovers. Are you looking for a story with drama? Please help me. Action. If Skylar becomes a problem, I'll handle them. Mystery. Who are you? Humor. If you put too many eggs in a basket, one of them's gonna drop out and split right open. Have I got a story for you. Stick Shift Incorporated, an audio drama about life, death, and mayhem. Available wherever podcasts are found.